Yo guys, what is going on today? It is Mark here and welcome back to another gameplay here on Black Ops 3 and it's been a while since I've actually done a commentary other than like a Mothership commentary for Black Ops 3 or anything like that. But um, yeah, it feels good to be doing this once again. Um, this is going to be a Pharaoh gameplay here where we're playing against a clan and I decided to go a little bit try hard because the game before this was actually sniping and they ended up like working us really bad. So I was like, you know, I can't let this happen again. And anyways, yeah, let's just get into it. So guys, COD XP has been announced to return this year, and the, other, the only other time that we've seen this is from MW3. So, you know, Infinity War knows what they're doing, and honestly, like, I wish they would do this for every Infinity War game, if not, like, every Call of Duty game. But then again, it may lose, like, its, um, you know, popularity of the event. But anyways... Um, if you guys don't know what COD XP is, basically it's an event to where you get uh, early access to the newest Call of Duty game, you know, before it's released and whatnot like that. So, there's going to be a lot going on with this event. I think it's a three or four day event, September 2nd to the 4th. I don't know, my math isn't really that good. But anyways, um, yeah, at this event there's going to be a numerous, numerous activities going on, numerous things for you guys to do, and... It was a huge success back in Modern Warfare 3, and people loved it. It's like the Call of Duty, you know, a dream. The Call of Duty, like, Call of Duty fanboys dream, I guess you could say. Because <laughs> what else are a bunch of, like, sweaty nerds gonna do anyway? But anyways, yeah, in this event, you get to play Infinite Warfare multiplayer early, Infinite Warfare Zombies early, um, Call of Duty 4 Remastered early, and then you also, this is actually pretty random, you get to play, um, the Black Ops 4 DLC early, and I don't know if that's just multiplayer, or if it's multiplayer and zombies, I'm not really sure how that works, because playing the zombies early would be pretty cool, actually. But, um, on top of that, there's also, like, a little, a little extra stuff for you to do, and I know that they had, um, this in MW3, um, when they did the Cut XP, um, also, they had, a uh, Paintball, I think it was Scrapyard back then, though, or... Was it Scrapyard? I'm pretty sure it was. But this year it's going to be a Nuketown paintball course. It may have been Nuketown then too, I'm not exactly sure. Um, but they have a paintball course of Nuketown if you guys are like into paintball or anything like that. I think that would be pretty cool. Um, and then they also have like a little pro tournament going on um, for you guys to watch. And then there's also like prizes you guys can win there. And actually this event would be pretty cool to go to. And I don't know. I just want to know what you guys think about this event and um, like... If you guys would be interested in, like, going yourself. Because I know, like, everyone would want to go. I, I just want to know, like, would it be worth it in your opinion? Because um, there are, like, three different options for tickets. I think one's, like, $50. And that's, like, just the bake, the basic, basic. Yeah, that's that's a word. So, a uh, basic package. And, again, like, there is the one word that I mess up. Mess up. Miss up. Wow. Two words I, I mess up every commentary. But um, the, uh, the $50 one's like the basic package, and you get to do everything in the event, but you have to wait in line for it. And then, like, of course, like, there's, the further up you go, you know, the better the deals are. But there's a $130 uh, ticket option to where you get, like, the legacy edition of the game, and um, you get to do everything in the first option. Then there's, like, a $200 ticket to where you get, like... Uh, the best deal of the game, and, like, so on and so forth, and you don't have to wait in line or whatever, but, yeah, like, I just want to know if it'd be worth it, because, obviously, you're going to be there for a few days, and you're obviously, like, it could be an expensive trip, depending on, like, your hotel arrangements and where you eat, like, I don't know what all goes on at the event, so I don't know how, like, expensive it would be, but, um, it would be really cool to go, and I just wanted to know your guys' opinion on it, like, I'm excited to bring it back this year, and I'm pretty sure, like, if you guys even don't go, you can probably follow along online. Like, obviously, there's probably going to be gameplay leaked and stuff like that. And, I mean, it's going to be really exciting for us to finally get some, you know, information on the multiplayer side and zombie side and stuff like that. And, you know, it's just going to be a good time. And if you guys want to, like, get more in-depth on what COD, uh, COD XP is, you can obviously go look up the NW3 side and see what they did from their previous years and get kind of like a, a grasp on what it's going to be like. But yeah, anyways, if you guys are interested, the tickets do go on sale June 11th and it's actually this upcoming Saturday. So um, make sure to check that out. There's actually a whole website dedicated to it. So um, go check that out. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of let you guys know what's going on. It's kind of cool. And, you know, I'm looking forward to like if I can't go, if I don't go, then I'm obviously looking forward to like the gameplay leak because that's just the main point. That's one of the main reasons that I would go was to just get that hands-on gameplay, you know, because we can always watch, like, the pro players, um, 
on online and stuff like that. But anyways, guys, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you later. Peace out.